I tell you what, let's talk a little uh, college basketball. Let's bring on our good friend and El Huapo himself, Mr. Craig Trapp. Why don't we start, shall we? Uh, Penn State, Purdue. And if I can find my... I did, found my notes. But I do know the Boilermakers because they make a lot of boil there at, Penn, at, uh, at Purdue. Hey, guys, I've got a promo code for you. I'll save you 15% on everything in your basket when you use promo code CHARM. That's C-H-A-R-M, CHARM. Uh, but let's start with it, <laughs> shall we? I could use a Boilermaker I know. after that joke. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a Big Ten matchup. The Nittany Lions, uh, they're 18-5. and five. They're 13-8-2 and two against the spread. They're 7-3 uh, and three in the last 10. They're on a six-game win streak. And the Boilermakers... They've been having probably one too many Boilermakers because they are 14 and 10, 11 and 13 against the spread. Five and five in the last 10 on a three-game winner as well. 10 and two straight up, though. Great home record. Well, they're going to be celebrating because they are four and a half point home favorites with a total 134 and a half. Who's celebrating? Is it the Boilermakers or them Lions? Well, when you look at this matchup, these are two of the hotter teams, under-the-radar teams. Got six straight wins for uh, Penn State. Uh, and all of them covering against the spread, which, I mean, for a handicapper, you can't get any better than that. And then Purdue kind of lost, uh, looked like their season was lost, and then they've uh, reeled off uh, four of the last five, including win over at their uh, at the Hoosiers. So when anytime Indiana uh, beats their in-state, or uh, Purdue beats their in-state rival to Indiana, that's a big win and a tough turnaround. So they uh, had that game on Saturday. Now they have to get back home and, and face a very hot Penn State team. I think the odds say you got to really respect this Penn State team uh, because when you when you usually you're getting three points as a home uh, favorite, that means this line on a neutral fly, floor would be uh, about a pick'em game, you know, probably one point favorite one way or the other. I like Penn State here plus four and a half. I think they actually went out right. I'm probably going to sprinkle some money line in this one because I think Penn State kind of catches Purdue in a – Really tough spot after you beat your rival. There's an easy letdown here. I mean, yes, they did beat Indiana. They beat Iowa. Those two teams were pretty good. But before that, they uh, beat a bad Northwestern team and a struggling Wisconsin team back when they had played them. So to me, I think you have to take a hotter Penn State team uh, coming off a couple really nice wins here. I think Penn State goes on the road and gets the win. So let's take the points just to be safe, though. 